So, in my previous two blogs about uh, performance gaps and training needs analysis and what they are, I talked about those things as two separate entities. And what I want to do now is just to show you how those two concepts work, if you like, in a pragmatic way uh, in a workplace context. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a simple flowchart diagram to illustrate how this whole process starts. So, let's begin by uh, assuming that uh, you receive an inquiry. And the inquiry is internal or external, and the client is requesting training or development of one sort or another. What we do not do is just immediately start trying to identify uh, training needs. In other words, what are the knowledge and skill requirements you know, of the particular task, function, or role they want the training in. The first question we have to ask leads us to this. We have to define the performance gap. In other words, what is the shortfall between what the target group is currently doing and what we expect or hope or intend that they should be doing? Now, if we can determine that there is a performance gap, that's, we can go on to the next stage. But if we can't determine there's a performance gap, we've really got a question, well, you know, what are we training? You know, what is it we are trying to impact on? However, this leads us to this next step. And the next step is, is the reason for the performance gap understood? So we're defining where there is a shortfall between what the person or the group currently does and what they need to do. And now what we've got to define is, is the reason for the performance gap understood? Why is there this shortfall? Now, um, is the reason for the performance gap understood? If the answer is yes, then that leads us to a second question. And the second question is, is the performance gap due to missing knowledge or skills. So, is the reason for the performance gap understood? If the answer is